Welcome to this Viz Minute where I will show you how to design a very simple scrolling carousel. A scrolling carousel is a ticker where often text messages will enter the screen from one side, scroll through the scene and then exit on the other side. This type of scene contains both the design for the background and the templates that are used for the messages. Let's start by creating a simple background and position it on the bottom of the screen. In the same tree position, we will add a container with the scroller plugin. Make sure the scroller plugin container is above the background on the Z axis. The scroller plugin's parameters make sure to check the advanced option and to give a proper name to the element source and the layer parameter. These are important. Then adjust the other parameters like speed, direction, padding. To my two containers, I will add a parent called layer container to have the right animation layer. We will now create the animation of our layer container by adding a new directory in the stage. We will give it two different stop points. First one will be our out state and second one will be our in state. In the ticker creation, some conventions are very important. The animation director name should be the same as the layer parameter in the scroller plugin. First stop point needs to be named O and second stop point will have to be named exactly as the element source parameter in the scroller plugin. After that, we will do a simple Y position animation of our layer container. To make sure our scroller is triggered right and cleaned after closing it, we can add some action keyframes with the following engine commands. First action keyframe is reversed and second one is normal. Last part of our scene creation is to create the template for our text messages. We need to create a container on the very top of our tree and name it exactly ticker underscore templates. Inside, we will create an object with a child container with the text, the font, the color, and the scale. You can create as many templates as different designs that you want to be able to display in your ticker. Your operator will be able to select which template to use afterwards to display a text. Make sure to hide your ticker underscore template container afterwards. And check the use formatted text. Your ticker scene is now ready and you can import it in Ticker Wizard.